Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Forever Golden campaign as Castile. And we are starting to colonize. Our uh, our dude got killed, which is kind of a bummer. But uh, hey, at least this is Catholic now, right? We will do what we can to spread that beautiful Castilian culture here. I really do think that we can probably get that PU. I don't. I'd be surprised if we couldn't. Honestly, let's go ahead. Can recruit nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I was like, wait, am, am I looking at a certain map mode? We have embraced the institution. Let's go ahead and switch over to trade power here. We definitely want the con culture conversion cost down here. But, um... Yeah. We're gonna rush through this. That way we can get that extra cost there. Um, wait a minute. What was that? West African ports. Hey! Sounds good to me. Sail to the East Indies. Discover the provinces in the Moluccas region. Permanent claims on a bunch of stuff. Sounds good to me. Really? Hmm. Uh, that's kind of tail tilting, but uh, yeah, that's fine. We're not going to ally. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell these guys I hate them. I hate them a lot, actually. Break your royal marriage with me. The Palatinate, huh? Neutral attitude? How you feel about me now? <laughs> Let's go ahead and have you guys uh, check out the uh, east coast over there. England has declared war on Scotland. Bohemia. Neutral attitude. We'll see if we can change that up. You get some uh, some good free cores, or probably some free reconquest. There we go. Poland is looking good, and, and he also took the Jagellion. So uh, that's quite the strong. Little group of guys you got over there. Um, let's go ahead and send them a gift. No. Let's go ahead and turn our maintenance off. Ooh. Felipe de Velasco. Let's go with um, this dude. Because that'll make him move faster. So it'll make exploration go a bit easier. Um... Let's go with the burgers, that way we can just buy clergy loyalty. We can actually do these clicks, so let's do that. Did we take it ahead of time? No points, so probably not worth. So let's go ahead and uh, put some points back into the dev. Big fan of the devving. So I want to marry you. When we take out our loan, we could probably give him a decent gift. Let's see here. I think we just influence him is probably better. I'll send him a gift, it's fine. And then we can probably get dang near pretty close. Why do you have a neutral attitude towards me? So what I'll do is I'll have this. So we got a Portuguese port out here, which is really good. Um, so technically, since it's not a colonial nation yet, he technically counts as Portugal, so this will um, expand all of my Caribbean stuff. 
Um, hmm. So I probably should do this stuff over here so I can make sure I grab my... Um, this is what I'm looking for. So I can grab all my... Uh, Basically, um, we get some stuff over here for a Caribbean colony, Havana, Hispaniola, and so Hernan Cortez. I don't know why it looks so weird with that font, but uh, we should probably send a man over there, a colonist. <clears throat> For 15 years, I'll probably wait until I have a couple more colonists. We'll get one here. So fast now. Let's have you guys check out what's going on over here. Hello. What? Let's see what's going on over here, East Coast. There we go. Portugal has embraced the Renaissance. So Florence is getting whooped on. Or I mean, Naples getting whooped on by Florence. Excommunication war, eh? Noble from House de Trastamara. Still get a succession war with you guys. Don't panic. I will gladly spend some more points on the man powers. Get you guys over here to take care of whatever this is here. <laughs> okay. Let's have you guys come on down, yeah. Mamlux wouldn't join him, so it only makes sense for us to uh, take Fez. We even got a siege guy. Let's go ahead and get you down there. Italian ambition, baby. That'll give us claims up here, which is really nice. Galley combat ability, huh? Oh, no. no. That's no good, but uh, it's just a five stack, so I think they just killed themselves. Yeah. Kind of doesn't make sense, honestly. Can we get a repair tick? Yeah, we can. Let's do this. Be low. Our commandant died. Let's get another one. Morale of armies is better. Let's go with that. Might be able to wipe them out. No, probably not. Oh, we did. Very good. Well, that's about that for them. <laughs> Let's actually just have Aragon go ahead and siege that down for me then, so I don't need to spend the manpower. And uh, that's all she wrote for that one. Cool. So Bohemia... It'll be a house they trust tomorrow. Protect that innovativeness. Auto Man is taking more land over here from uh, the Mamluks, unfortunately. Did I not rival them? Hmm. Let's get that uh, that espionage, you know. Did I not tell you guys to come over here? You can't reach, unfortunate. 
What are you talking about? I know for a fact you can see that. Okay, apparently they can't. That literally doesn't make any sense. Oh, because it's based off of Tenerife, not Arguin. That makes sense. So is this a finished colony? It is. A little bit of missionary strength from the Spanish Inquisition. No one expected it. Scotland has gone bankrupt. Oh, what? Bohemia. Is the Emperor about to get slayed to Smackdown on a... means he's getting a bunch of army buffs as well though it's kind of a bummer so let's go with um, let's see here next idea group is obviously going to be an admin one so let's go ahead and switch over to an admin focus Especially because Bloodbound is heavy on the admin, so we'll be able to really just slam through it and it'll be really good for us. So Palatinate got a king of Detras de Mara. But I obviously can't attack him, so that's a, a no-go. Unfortunately, we're losing a ton of Diplo from all this stuff. I would really, really like to get the uh, Curia control. What a joke that is. I'm so disappointed. Ugh. Makes me sick to my stomach. Let's get some claims over here. I don't know actually how I got that claim right there, actually. Oh, it's a claim bordering a claim, right. All right, I forgot about this war. So is Saleh in this war with us? Get you guys all siege down over here. So they actually built up a giant army, considering the fact that they were nothing before. Um, it's fine, Let's see if we can give them some land. Granada. Let's give them Cantabria. And now these guys are too influential, if you can imagine. So they are now 109% roughly. So let's see here. We'll definitely take that one. And we'll probably take... It's another good trade company, trade region that they have. Um... They can be disloyal. I couldn't care less about the nobility. They just literally are always a pain in the ass, so. We'll repay that. That's fine. Let's go ahead and have you guys run on up there. There we go. Let's come on over here. Don't really care about the prestige a whole lot. Platinate, man. We're had, having very bad luck with all this stuff. I just want these, whatever I have claims on. And then, you know, all your money that you'll give me. Beautiful. I will immediately increase the autonomy in all of this land down here. Because I don't want no smoke. We'll core it all up and lose all the admin points that I've been gaining. There we go. Let's make sure we don't pay too much for you guys. Looks like we lost our explorer. 
go ahead and explore some more. Just kidding, we can't. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's go ahead and have you guys protecting trade then. Until we finish up this Arguin, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot. We got busted. Uh, so, if I'm going to do this, I should do it before they get too strong. We actually out morale. They out discipline me. They have stupid siege ability, but that's because of the guns of urban. Similar tradition. They have more defensiveness as well and more professionalism. And they also have 66,000, but France has 48. I have a feeling that France would not be marching his men over there, though. What's the navy? That's the edge. 28 galleys. Yeah, there's no chance. Um. Yeah, forget about that. Portugal has entered their golden era. Very nice. So, Bloodbound is an embezzler. That is quite annoying, but it's all good, man. Pomerania, huh? Amlux have entered their golden age. Papal State wants some me to back them up. I suppose I will. Colonialism. Oh, the Protestant Reformation is here in northern Germany, if you can believe it. Um, I wonder if we can spawn colonialism. I think we will, actually. It's either going to be us or Portugal. They took economic and they took economic. They did take exploration, but I don't think they have... They're not going to have quest for the new world within five years, so... I'm thinking it's all ours. That would be pretty cool if it was. Our conquests have been minimal, but believe me, after we start getting our colonialism stuff going on, we'll be more than okay. A little bit of a slow start, but... Um... So our truce with Naples is almost over, which is nice that he's getting beat up on by Genoa. When is our truce up with them? October of the next year? No, definitely not gonna ally Bohemia. So let's get you guys over here, actually. No, I, that is that is the dumbest thing I think I've ever heard, ever. That you wouldn't try to march all that way. <clears throat> Especially when I have a... a bunch of ships ready to take you over. I'm, I'm confused. Trader is dead, unfortunately. Let's go with the colonial ra range guy. There we go. Let's get you guys brought over. I think our navy is safe. I don't think they have... They do have some ships out and about, but I think we're probably good. I hate the fact that we're losing so much Diplo. It's these royal marriages with these guys. But I can't afford to break it. We also have unbalanced research. Because, of course, we shouldn't be gaining any now, which is nice. Choose with Austria and Breton. Breton is over. So, now, we're just waiting. Portugal, or Naples, should... We should be pieced out of here pretty soon. Papal Genoese excommunication war. So let's see here. Can I attack instantly and Pope Man won't join? Oh baby. It's too easy. Let's go ahead and go for Napoli. Let's go ahead and unmothball these guys. And then we'll do what we did before. They don't have much of an army. Oh, they do. That's not true. They have a huge army. They're actually coming right for me, I bet. So let's get half up there. Half up here. Something like this. That's beautiful. 
We'll just back up Aragon, and they can do the same thing they did before. I do need to, uh, upgrade my fleet basing capabilities. I think that's a huge damper on our, um, economy here. Yeah, we're losing four ducats a month from being over. So Arguin is also pretty close to being done. Let's go ahead and take the admin points. I think finances are fine. Um, as far as this, it's like... I have claims on all of this, so I might as well take all of this. Maybe not a bruzy. I'll keep a coalition from forming, because it has to have at least four. Let's go ahead and actually mothball you guys again. We don't need the naval superiority. And they can just go over there to that and... Naval force limit, wow, look at that. I was literally just talking about that. And that helps my economy out quite a bit. Nobility gains loyalty. Yeah, uh, no. Or not. Or the nobility can schlob the knob. Go ahead and give them that, though. So we're probably going to end up getting you guys out of here soon. There we go. So, could take Napoli. So if I wanted to do this, which I do want to, but I don't want to spend the admin on it. Like, I'm already looking at 180 extra admin. Um, I also want to get into Northern Italy. Let's see here. So he's got a claim on that. Let's go ahead and say we want him to start getting claims on all of this. And then we can declare some wars for Aragon. Who else is in here? Just Sienna? Is that it? Really? Sienna. My friend. Your time has come. You can win Roussillon and that will do you absolutely no good. Yeah, we can't take the tech yet because we're going to end up needing to core some of this stuff up, unfortunately. Now Sienna is high enthusiasm, even though he's at negative four reasons. Colonialism is mine. I call dibs. Where do we get it? Granada. Good stuff. Always nice to spawn global or er, colonialism. Oh my. Well, Wana's pretty old, right? Eh, she's not that old, but uh Definitely not worth taking that much unrest, that's for sure. Jeez, oh Pete. A disease outbreak. My favorite. Separatist in Fez. My, my, my second favorite. Let's go ahead, yeah. Just get out of this war. Give me some money. Beautiful. And then, do we do this? Nah. It's not worth it. I don't want to spend the admin either. So we're just going to take that and we will increase the autonomy of all these provinces over here. It's all Catholic, so it shouldn't be an issue. And uh, I don't think there's any... Yeah, it's just this center of reformation up there. Let's go ahead and core all that up. Let's get you guys grouped up. And we're going to need to hopefully get over here before these rebels see... Hey, they got a wall breach. I'm done. I'm so done with this game. This stupid, like... Oh, let me just get a 7% wall breach here. Unlike the third roll. No cannons. Infuriating. Get out of here, you turds. Get good, nerds. Alright, so let's get you guys out of there. Uh, let's recall you. So, I need... I really think Bonnie is actually the one province that I need. Okay, so it says, Castile or the subjects own at least five fully colonized provinces in Haiti or Dominica regions. Yep, Bonnie, owned by Castile, or it's non-tributary. Oh, that's so annoying. That literally gives me so many claims. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay, well, that just means I'll have to annex him a little bit sooner than I thought, maybe. Anyways, we'll figure it out. We'll get it sorted out. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below about the campaign so far. If you have um, suggestions, what do you guys think? Should we start annexing Tunis, making our way around the Mediterranean before too long? That way, we or do we will go the long way around um, Africa and start uh, start finagling our way through that? What do you guys think? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and if you are enjoying the campaign and you want to show your support, leave a like. And 500 a day, and we will keep, or per video, and we will keep the twice daily uploads going. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yudaldo, Jaren Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.